Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today we have Nadine Artemis from Living Libations, the creator of Living Libations, um, once again to discuss the next top 30 products that we're offering at cost. Thank you for coming on Nadine. Thank you for having me. Yeah, everything's going good over there, you're in Venice? Yes, we're in Venice, we're in California right now, so not in my usual home. <laughs> And uh, we're, I'm at the store right now, the Living Libation store in Venice. Right on. Yeah, Nadine has a Living Libation store in Venice. Um, it's like a retail outlet where people just walk in and order. That's awesome. Yeah, you can smell. <laughs> you can smell when you... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I got a question. How do you... Okay, you come out with like... We have a bunch of new items we're going to be talking about today, but you're continually formulating brand new items, um, targeting everything. How do you do that? I, my mind, I mean, I have, and I have a list of 30 more that I'd like to create this week, but of course it takes time, but they're all in there. I, yeah, I just feel like there is no end to the beautiful, natural, real, organic creations we can make. And uh, we also love, because people, when they love living libations, they love it and they don't want to go anywhere else. So I feel like it's also great when we can keep making, you know, new things so that people can still dive into libations. So it keeps continuing. I, so many in my head. It's like a lifetime. Wow. So you like study the benefits of different essential oils and put them together and concoctions. and Yeah. And I mean, really the studying of them, I, I mean, I'm always learning, but I just, I know them so well. It's just really like, it's just my hand, like really they're all being created in my brain all the time. So I just have to like put my hands together and blah, blah, blah. And then it's done. You know, really 90% of creating something's in my head. And then you get to that alchemy room, and then it's like, boom, 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 done. <laughs> right. And you got to find the packaging and the lead, you know, then we have to bring those elements together. And we have such an amazing team that uh, helps us all bring these out to the world. Wow. And as many people know, is um, Nadine sources the best oils and essential oils and everything from all around the world, um, highest quality. There's no fillers or anything like that. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. Um, and every last drop of your product is active ingredient. And yeah, so um, this is why Living Libations is the number one beauty care product in the world. And yeah, we don't like highlight active ingredients to distract from those futile fillers and unpronounceable, undesirable ingredients that really no skin needs. And our skin cells never are crying out for things like petroleum and paraben. It's right. just not, you know. Yeah, and also like some of them use like beads and stuff that creates micro tears and... Yeah, well there's new studies coming out, I'm really studying a lot about, I love diving into the microbiome, you know, whether that's for oral care, and of course on our skin, our skin is really this tapestry of trillions of microbes. We have a whole ecosystem that lives with us, we are not alone. And um, studies show that surfactants, even like gentle foaming cleanser surfactants, what they do is they lodge themselves into the stratum corneum, which is our very thin top layer of skin, the top layer of the epidermis. And it has its whole, whole own microbiome. And um, when we get lodged those surfactants into our skin, even after rinsing, they don't come out. Wow. So if you're soaping with the foaming cleansers and the soap all the time, then that you're just continually feeding, and that can lead to things like chronic inflammation. Your your um, you know the microbiome, the bacteria on your face that are helping you not have acne and issues, then we're we're wiping them away, and with the soap and all of that. So we don't want to do that because it's destroying the microbiome. So it's destroying the protective layer of our skin. And we're doing it on a daily, daily basis. So your, your skin's never getting free of the surfactants because it's like a daily exposure. And we're really then that we're altering the species and the terrain of our skin. So that's why we love washing with oil and the essential oils because there's, through the plant intelligence there, the, these, these, the ingredients we use, the oils and the essential oils, they protect us much in the same way that they protect the plant. So they're protecting the plant from pathogens while helping the friendly bacteria. So the ingredients help us not breed pathogenic bacteria and help the friendly bacteria instead of killing it. Whereas most modern 
skincare regimes really disrupt the symbiotic, the beautiful symbiotic nature of this relationship between our, our skin and the bacteria. But most bottles out there are, are really harming that symbiotic relationship. Right. Yeah. And speaking of the microbiome in all these different areas, um, the oral microbiome is also very critical for health and things like this. And mouthwashes and stuff like this completely destroy that type of thing. And um, we can start off with some of the new products that yeah. you have um, here, which actually support the microbiome, ver the oral microbiome versus like destroy it, which is the um, two new products called Mint and Mirror Swishing Oil and Happy Gumdrop Swishing Oil. So that's like oil pulling, taken up a notch. So in so it's we call there's swishing serums and swishing oils in the mouth is an ancient tradition coming out of Ayurvedic practices, and um, what it does is it draws the pathogenic and the different thing, toxins out of the mouth. So what you do is you squirt. Um, you do from that bottle you would do six squirts. The bottle contains something like over 300. I think it's 348 squirts to be exact, but that is coming from memory, so I hope it's not off, but it's something like that. So you're doing six squirts at a time. That will give you a nice mouthful. And it has the essential oils, which are antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral, and, um, but not going to destroy the friendly bacteria. And then also comes with uh, CoQ10, which is really good for the gums. And so you swish, and you can do your so you do your eight steps that we've lined out and talked about before, and then you swish at the end, and um, you know people feel like their teeth are whiter. And you can do it at home. You can use olive oil or um, coconut oil, and you can even add like the yo a drop of the Yogi Two Serum or the Healthy Gum Serum to that if you want to do it today. Um, but the great thing about the blends is they have they are perfectly proportioned and they also have the CoQ10 in it, which is awesome. And um, then you, yeah, you swish for try and do it for 10-15 minutes. So do something else, just walk around swishing, and then you spit that out. And with it, you know, it's like tooth plaque and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's an extra step that people are just finding phenomenal results with. Wow! And you, you put MCT oil in there. Yes. So it's always going to be liquid, and it's a little bit more potent than just coconut oil. Nice. Cool. So um, there are two other new products that we're offering with the top 30 here. Um, maybe we could just go over those two. Um, one is, well, we'll just say the Royal Rose CoQ10. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. The smell is so simple but phenomenal. Like, everybody that opens that up is just like, oh, my God, it's like a dreamy aroma you know, with the roses and ylang ylang. And again, that's with CoQ10. And it's like, I mean, we have amazing serums, but this one just seems to take like smoothness and suppleness to a whole new level. It's just luxurious. And it's really good for um, all skin conditions, but specifically, you know, it's great for um, a mature skin, rosaceous skin, um, you know, fine lines, it's just really soothing. CoQ10, I guess, is good for the skin. And, yeah, and that's really helping with the fine lines and stuff, too. Yeah, cool. And then the next new item is one of the best skin ever's. Um, for this promotion, we actually have three best skin ever's, so we might as well go over them all right now. We've got the Lavish Vanilla, we actually have four. Lavish Vanilla, how do you say it, Nerioli? Or, oh, Neroli. Neroli. <laughs> Neroli. And then the last one is, your new one is Tropical. Yeah. Ooh. That's so good. Okay. So we've got Lavish and Vanilla. Those are, those. so Lavish is beautiful. It's It's got, in so there's Jasmine essential oil and Vanilla essential oil. But what we do with this one is that the Jasmine flowers and the Vanilla, and separately, but they're infused in jojoba. Like, the, rather than distilled and making essential oil, they're used over a month and then the oil gets saturated with the aroma and the properties. Um, so that was just very beautiful, luxurious, floral, really great for all over body, for massages, for dry, you know, winter skin, just all over the body can be used on the face too. All of the best skin ever can be used to cleanse the face, 
Um, even moisturize, you, they could, can be your moisturizer. They're kind of designed to be the one bottle that does it all. Like you can just take that and moisturize your body, wash your face, and moisturize your face. You can use it as a hair massage, you know, massage scalp oil. You can take it to your massage therapist and get a massage with it. So that's like the whole best skin ever. That way it's just like picking your favorite aroma and, you know, properties. You know, some of the other ones too. You can be like, oh, I've got sensitive skin or acne. So they can be specific for that as well. Although really most people find that any best skin ever, once they get away from their surfactants, that kind of stuff really brings their skin into balance. And then the neroli is um, neroli is the, most essential oils are named after the plant but they named neroli which is orange blossoms after an italian duchess i think it was the 17th century and she used to love the oil and she would uh they used to you know uh, make leather gloves with the tannins and they used to anoint it with neroli because i guess it was kind of smelly and so they named it after her um so that's one of the ones that's named after somebody. And that's, I mean, the smell of orange blossoms and what could, what's more beautiful than that. So it's a lovely one. That one's also good for mature um, rosacea skin on the face as well. And then the tropical best skin ever. So that's a new one. And, um, you know, coconut, like we all know the smell of coconut, coconut oil and all that. And it's lovely, but it's, it's milder than the synthetic version is, is like a band of soleil tanning oil, you know, that kind of more synthetic coconut smell. Um, so working with the natural coconuts is, a, is less of an aroma, but we've got our distiller to do a CO2 distillation of coconut. And so the aroma is really getting more, more coconutty because it's a more concentrated distillation. And then to that, we have also got... Um, gardenia flowers infused in coconut oil and to that we add a jasmine and different things so it really is the most natural beachy tropical luxurious aroma that we can create at this time wow wow yeah yeah the best skin ever is um very popular probably some of the most popular products on our website for living libations and um we have it here actually i have some right here <laughs> the sea buckthorn one and um yeah Everyone uses it. It's really good. Okay, so those are the new items, except for some of those best skin ever. So now we're gonna do the um, the thirty. Well, minus those ones we just did. Um, so this one is actually also really popular on our website. Um, it's the Sundew Transdermal Vitamin D Cream. Very popular amongst people because, especially in the winter, so it has vitamin D in it. And um, as you know, we could suck, we can get lime sun, or we can take vitamin D supplements, but also transdermally, anything we apply to our skin does go in the body. Some vitamins, especially the fat soluble, can be uh, usefully absorbed through the skin. And so um, we decided to add the vitamin D to that serum so that, you know, maybe if you don't want to take vitamin D supplements topically, um, although we don't have stats, it's not like if you really, really need vitamin D, you might want to do both, supplementing and applying it, and lying in the sun. So this just gives you another way to receive it into the body. And we did have a doctor, you know, I can't give hard stats and that kind of stuff, but um, we did have a doctor in Germany who decided to test her vitamin D levels before, then she used the cream for a month, and she did find they, they went up. Wow. Yeah, and besides all that, it's a beautiful, lush, nourishing, you know, cream. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And then the next one is, okay, Th these are pretty big time. This was actually in the very first top 30, but we didn't do it because um, it takes longer to make, I guess. The um, ginger and peppermint body scrubs, or the facial scrubs, body and facial scrubs. Yeah, you can use them on the face, but I say... You know, you just don't scrub too hard. You want to scrub really gently. Um, great on the body. Um, really makes for smooth skin. If you have a condition called um, keratosis pilaris, which is the bumps on the back of the arm, you uh, you know just use it on that area daily, and then apply a best skin ever, and you'll find it'll go down a lot. Um, Seems to be a condition too that's related to a lack of fat soluble vitamins. So it's really good for that, really good at getting dry, rid of dry patches. And uh, a fun way to do it too is you kind of, if you do it dry before you get in the shower, you kind of pick some areas, move it all over your body, and then you go.
go in the shower and you get out, you don't even, there's a, it's like, it's scrubbing in a lotion. So when you get out of the bath or shower, you'll find it's really quite smooth. You might not need anything after, especially if you live in a hot climate, then you can do that, get out, and then you might not have to put a moisturizer on after. Right. Yeah, these are really popular products also. One girl was telling me she uses it before she shaves so she doesn't get ingrown hairs. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And really great for feet, kind of foot massage, get rid of that dry, hard skin. Right. Yeah. Okay, so um, now that we were just talking about the scrubs, this is actually supposedly really good for the face. Um, it's the green papaya mask, which actually has the papaya enzymes. And... Um, one person was telling me, like, when they were put, it eats the dead skin if you leave it over on your face overnight or something like that. Yeah, in a really, really gentle way. So there's alpha hydroxy acid masks out in the world that are harsh, and this is a natural version, getting those fruit acids and enzymes to uh, do the work for you. Mm -hmm. And it's very light, lightweight. It's like, it's light. Yeah. Like a very... <laughs> watery kind of gel and so you can put it on it's not going to be sticky it's not going to dry out you can leave it on the skin overnight it's mild yet effective so you can use it you know a couple times a week if you desire um, but it's really goes a long way and it does really brighten the skin and uh, not brighten as in like bleach it but just brighten it up um, you know gently without ex harsh exfoliants get rid of dead skin cells right my i have a friend who's like this expert she's in the makeup realm and she says yeah. it works just as good as um, chemical peels without all the garbage in there. Yeah, yeah. and a lot easier and lighter to use. It's just yeah. like, oh, yeah. You don't even know it's on your face, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So you can walk around the house without it like cracking and, right. or get it on your pillows if you're sleeping with it. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so the next one is... Okay, so we've got a few poetic pits here too. We've got mm -hmm. the poetic pits petal, um, maverick, Palo Santo, and that's all the poetic pits. There's three of them. Cool. Uh, Maverick is awesome. It's it's a little, I mean, again, the poetic pits, men and women use them, but Maverick's a little more masculine, and uh, it's just such a great aroma. People, you know, with the poetic pits, people literally, I, like every day, people are like, oh my God, people are complimenting me. I just did, just worked out at the gym, or I did yoga, and they're just like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? So that's really popular, really popular with the guys. The Petal Pits is just a beautiful light one. It's very feminine and has like ylang and lavender in it. And then the Palo, it's kind of actually, it is a little more masculine in a way, but both men and women really enjoy it. And you know, Palo Santo is such a rich, beautiful, beautiful wood. Yeah. And again, yeah. they all work the same way. They're working naturally with your aroma. They're not can you know, they're not masking. It just makes you smell like a better version of you. And uh, it's antibacterial. So again, the sweat, you know, it's just helping the sweat smell good without sending aluminum and different chemicals into the body. Right. Especially right. In that area. I mean, that area, especially if we, you know, shaving, it's already thin skin, and then shaving, like, whatever you're putting there does really go in, and then it's hooked up to this whole lymphatic breast area, and, you know, they are finding in, um, you know, breast tissue, diseased breast tissue, they're finding 99% of them have parabens, there is aluminum, and, you know, the daily dose of aluminum might not be that bad, but if you think about 40 years of wearing, getting that micro dose every day, it does build up. There was this one guy who stopped using deodorant, um, like with aluminum in it, and then he like improved his diet at the same time, and he got like all of these rashes like all over on his armpits from the stuff coming out. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is Jai Baby Joy. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful oil. Um, Alanis Morissette just made a lovely post that she's putting that all over her beautiful baby. I'm sure you might be using that on your baby. And it's just great for caring for the baby skin or also baby massage. And baby smells so yummy, it just ups the yumminess <laughs> of the baby. So that's got that infused vanilla oil again. So we take the vanilla beans, saturate the jojoba, and, um, and that's what the Jai Baby's made from, as well as some other, like a little bit of lavender. It's right. Lovely. Yeah. That's another, another one, too. Okay, here's the, 
probably one of the top sellers of this promotion so far. Um, it's the Frankincense Face Tonic. Yeah, oh wow, that's, yeah, so that's um, great. I always have the bottle with me on the plane. Spray, keep my face hydrated. And um, so that's made from the distillation of the frankincense essential oil. So you get all the resin of the frankincense, it's heated up, it's distilled, it goes in this coil, and then that gets that's heated. So the heat sends the essential oils out of the molecules out of the resin, brings it into this vaporous state, and then it cools and condenses, and then what you have left over is this oil, frankincense oil and water, and oil and water don't really mix. So the essential oil is skimmed off, and then what's left is this water, but it's really amazing water because it's filled with all the microsoluble components of the frankincense. Wow. wow. And that's what it is. So there's no water, we don't add water to the frankincense, or we don't just add, you know, we don't add water and just frankincense, call it frankincense water, it's literally from the distillation. It's called a hydrosol. So it contains special properties in it. Um, and to that we add frankincense, but it's hydro frankincense hydrosol with frankincense. And uh, it's very hydrating and toning for the skin. So if you're looking to up, up your you know, toning or hydration beyond water, then it's, it's a great thing. And a lot of makeup artists will do is they'll like moisturize the face and then even give it another spray and then go into the makeup layers because it sets like, apparently just sets the moisture into the skin as well. Yeah, my makeup artist friend utilizes this for toning. And she says whenever she uses it, um, she thinks it's due to the frankincense, she has really vivid dreams at night. Nice. Due to how it's potent nice. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's great because all these ingredients work on that, on a physical level. I and mean, you can also get these emotional and spiritual, you know, experiences with them as well. Yeah, the power of essential oils. Cool. So the next one is um, Zen Shave. Yes, lovely shaving cream. Uh, I know we're used to like, and then thing of whipped cream, right? But you only need like, like a dime size amount and you know, do your face that way. And it just really helps prevent some um, ingrown hairs for men and women use it on their legs and armpits as well. Um, but men really love it. And also they find they get less, um, they don't have to use a cream after or like, you know what I mean? That, so I think guys, they like simple steps too generally. So it's great to kind of don't have to think about the shaving cream and then after the shaving cream. And I mean, so many greens and shaving creams are going to disturb the microbiome. And then there's alcohols and different things that are like drying the skin and doing all this stuff. So it just really keeps the skin very lush and very, easy to glide that razor over the beard. Yeah, a lot of girls use this too for their legs, as you stated. Yeah. And um, it doesn't like gunk up the uh, blade, whether it's a multi-blade or a single blade. So it's like the best, yeah. So, so. You know what else I use sometimes too? My I'll use their hair conditioner. I'll um, use their like, shine on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so next we have Radiant Earth Deep Delight Cologne. Nice. That is a beautiful, again, men and women wear it. It is a little more designed for men, and it's gorgeous. I mean, it's these earthy notes of vetiver and cardamom, giving it a hint of spice in vanilla, grounding it in, and it's just like, it smells great on any guy. It's just like, mm, it's so good. I need to get a few of these things brought out to my place here. Okay. The next one is Jewel Doodab. Yes, that's a new one too. So we have our family of doodabs, and they've been designed for targeted spot treatments because sometimes that's needed um, with scarring or acne or melasma. That's when uh, hyperpigmentation, when part of the skin is getting darker. Um, so these are the Jewel Dab, like the other doodabs, is 100% essential oils blended together. Um, they are potent, but they, they're they all made with essential oils that can be used undiluted on the skin. You're only using one drop at a time. And, uh, you know, if you've got a little scar or acne, you just put one drop on there. Um, on rosacea, it helps more. It, the Jewel Dab is amazing for melasma and hyperpigmentation, too. 
So if you have an area that is like that, again, you're just going to apply you know, twice a day and people begin to see results within a month to three months, depending on their situation. Most people find it clears it up, but again, it's, a good, it's different for everybody, but everybody finds improvement and some people find, you know, 100% improvement. So it's a really helpful thing. So there's not a lot out there besides really harsh chemicals that can clear up hyperpigmentation, and then those, hyper, those harsh chemicals are laser treatments. Um, they do make the skin weaker because they're taking off those top layers of skin, and then you've got sun sensitivity issues for years, and it can, then that can create more hyperpigmentation, that kind of stuff. So it's better to clear it up this way. Right. Wow. I think we have another, um, a, we have bee dab, to bee do dab also. Yeah, another one. So, yeah, so I saw, you know, for all the skin conditions, I was like, oh, we got to branch out a bit. Because originally we had the doodad, which is like blemishes and scars. And it is also good for hyperpigmentation. You have the zippity doodad, which is definitely your go to oil for zits. Then the bee doodad is for like, can also be used for zits, but it's also like just itchy, inflamed areas that really need calming and cooling. So it's deeply calming and cooling. The doodab is common as well, but the bee doodab is like more common than cooling. So it's like there's like peppermint, frankincense in there. So it's it, it's really potent, but also again you can use it you know drop on the face undiluted. Cool. Once you got an itchy rash or even a mosquito bite, it's one drop. Wow. One dab. Cool. We have all the bee doodab all the doodabs on our website. All four of them. Okay, so um, the next one, frankincense first aid. Yeah, so you know what's neat? I feel like the, so the frankincense first aid, you take the bead, it's good that they're wrenching them together. It's like bee doodab. Then if you had to take the bee doodab and then make it stronger, that's frankincense first aid. So um, probably not something you'll use on your face. And, and then, so it's like the bee do dab, it's calming and cooling and anti-itching, but it's stronger because then it's got oregano and thyme in it. So that could be like, again, a cut, like a little, you know, not a cut that you're going to need to go to the hospital for, but just like, oh, I got a cut, or a little burn because it's calming and cooling, or a mosquito bite, or a toe fungus, you know, that's going to be the potent stuff for that area. Cool. Yeah. The next one is Moon Swoon Lip Shimmer. Nice. So that is, uh, I kind of might have it on right now. I did come this morning, but I probably ate or something. Anyway, it's just like a, I was thinking it was sort of like this 1960s lip shimmer. You get that, like sort of it's white. It's like, it just gives you a sheer, sheer lip glow. It's like pastel-y and nice and delicate and it smells gorgeous it's actually like similar to our lavish abundance perfume it's got that vanilla jasmine aroma wow and you can also use it here and like at the brow it's like a highlighter you know it's just made with uh it's like our lip balm but then we add mica to get the colors oh wow yeah it's like a moon shimmer. that's cool yeah. make sure i didn't skip any oh i did skip one okay feeling good today um, oh yeah, that's a fun blend that is, uh, you can have a drop in water or, um, you know, use it, it's really good for immune system and it's got holy basil in it, which is, you know, uplifting and uh, strengthening and kind of that, like, have in the morning, good to face the day. So you just put a drop in your drink? And your uh, yeah, you can put a drop in your drink or you can inhale it, you can put it in a diffuser, that cool. kind of thing. Nice. I just realized I have Moon Swoon in my bag right here. Cool. So I've got to put some on. There. Oh, wow. Hopefully that worked without a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Okay. Um, okay, so the next one is... Okay, this one looks really cool. All Season Serum. Yeah, that's a beautiful face serum that you can use in any season. Season, It's lightweight and it has like, we put in Melissa essential oil and it's all I can remember right now because there's so many ingredients that I work with, but it's, it's really lovely. And um, you know, in the summer it's not too heavy, but in the winter it seems to be able to combat dry skin. And it's just such a light, refreshing aroma. 
it's just great. Great with the du dual dab as well. Cool. Good combo there. Thanks. Okay. Um, the next one is we got a few more. Love wine. Love wine. Yeah, that's a fun one. So we have we have a little family of blends called the Chrisms, which is like just these sort of special. You know, it's not really about skincare, but they're really uplifting blends. And the feeling good today is one of those. And so is the love wine. So the love wine is an essential oil blend, and there's even a touch of honey in there. And um, it's just yummy. <laughs> and you can add it like so. You know, we have a recipe on our set. Well, it's just you take watermelon juice and you add a drop to that, and it just brings. You know, it just really elevates the whole thing, and people really feel there's a lot of like heart resonance in that blend. Uh, you can wear it before meetings or discussions, and it gets when you're kind of wearing the same thing or inhaling and partaking and communing the same essences. You can really get on the same wavelength. So it's a nice thing. You put a drop on a piece of chocolate, and, um, and you know it's got like cinnamon and vanilla, cardamom, ylang, shishandra berries. It's just really a heart-opening blend. Wow, I'm adding that to my list of things to bring out here. Okay. Ruby Juice Lover Lips. That's a fun lip balm that we get a red color from Roots, and um, it's like a lip, like our lip balm, but with red. And so you can, you can, it's, it creates a really natural red. So again, this is not like, you know, your drugstore red, red lipstick, but it's like a really beautiful sheer red, and you can use it on your cheeks, and you just get that like natural red color that like if you ran around the block once and your cheeks would be flush, it's just that beautiful glow. So it, it creates a really nice, mild, natural looking red. And you can either sort of lightly put it on your lips or you could press a little harder and you can kind of control the redness that's coming that you want to bring forth. Wow. Yeah. You got any of that in your purse? Yeah, I don't. But, Right here. here we go. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. Is that showing? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Really great on cheeks. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so the next one, there's two more. Yeah. Best cuticles ever. That is for in the cuticle area. You can use it on your hands and toes. You can use it all over your hands, but it's just really concentrated with essential oils and tamanu to really, you know, you can massage it into those nails. It really helps the nails be buffed and shiny. Um, a lot of people have to heal their nails after a lot of like excessive nail polish use or or um, fake nail use, and uh, or their cuticles get really dry in the winter or after you wash them on dishes. So it just really hydrates and heals that area. Quite fast. Wow. Yeah. And the last one, let me just make sure I didn't skip any before I do this last one. Yep, I think we're, oh, there's actually two more. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so Radiant Love Lotion is what I skipped. So that is, I use the word lotion, it's a little more softer word than lube, but it's really a love lube. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can use it for love making sessions um, and it's perfectly edible. So we have our love butters which are solid and they melt on contact with the skin and this one's already liquid, but it's an edible love loop. So you can let your imaginations okay. go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the next one is, the last one is Sandalwood Supreme. Oh yeah, new serum as of the spring I think and it's so lush and gorgeous. This one, I, um, a lot of our oils have jojoba. I love jojoba. It's like this liquid wax that mimics our sebum and is so great and never goes rancid. This one's actually all sandalwood nut oil, which is a new, just like new, I don't want to use the word product, but it's like a new product from the sandalwood tree. A new gift from the sandalwood tree? It sounds... Um, so there's our sandalwood essential oil that's, you know, we've all known. It's been distilled for thousands of years. And sandalwood nut oil is pressed from the nuts of the sandalwood tree. And it is so, like, I mean, I've felt a lot of oil extractions in my life. And this one is so lush and lovely. 
and so healing for the skin. So this is all sandalwood nut oil with the essential oils in it, which are, I can't remember them all, but like sandalwood and frankincense. And it is just lovely on the skin. And, and it's one of my totally favorites. Yeah, it sounds really good. Good for men and women. You know, it's just lovely, really, really special. Cool. Well, that's all of them. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me and discuss these 30 products. <laughs> when do you go back to um, Canada? We're here for a few more days with the store, and then we're back back to uh, making more. I'll be making more products to release. Awesome. <laughs> if anybody's interested in ordering um, any of these top 30 products from our website, we're offering them at cost, which is at an awesome discount at therawfoodworld.com. Thank you for allowing us to do this once again. Thank you. And we've got Nadine Artemis and Matt Monarch. And we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.